Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Today is my 156 post for my 254 day challenge. Scripture for today was 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And it read, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always have an all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. In short, bless to be a blessing. Keyword, able. God is able. Thank you for joining me. If you are a subscriber, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe and journey with me as I grow. I'm on a healing journey. Healing through travel as I discover who I am. Today's scripture, again, was 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. The songs for the day, A Great Work, Brian Courtney Wilson, track two, no, I'm sorry, it was track five, T.D. Jakes, The Thresh and Floor Revival, A Time to Worship, William Murphy. Thank you, the word says, I'm sorry, the song says, say thank you, thank you. The fruit of the lips. Today I sat, I finally got a chance to watch an upload by 19 Keys. And he spoke about the matter of psychological techniques. Upgrading DNA and astral time. One thing specific in which he spoke about was the devil's job of distraction. With that being said, I think about Twitch. Stephen Boss Twitch. And the presentation by see you or see you when you get there, let it happen. And that takes me to a quiz in which I did called the ACE, Adverse Childhood Experience. There were 10 questions and the higher you scored, the higher the likability that you suffer for a number of different societal ills which could lead to depression. And my score was a nine. But then when I look at myself and understanding that score, based off of those 10 questions, give you a little visual what the questions were. One dealt with negative incidents in one's life before the age of 18. Insults where you may have been put down. Two dealt with physical abuse in where some cases may have left marks, bruises on your body. Three, sexual abuse. Four dealt with the feeling of love and being supported. Five dealt with medical, medical neglect, being in a home where you had no food. Six dealt with abandonment from biological parent, either by mother or father or both. Seven dealt with physical abuse Domestic violence in the home between the partnerships who's supposed to be caring for you. Eight dealt with 
depression, mental illness, and suicide. Nine dealt with drug and alcoholic environments. And ten dealt with where a loved one may have been removed from the home having to do prison time. And so, for me having scored nine, it was, it was iffy, iffy on the 10 because I answered yes to every last one of them with the exception of 10 prison time, which was kind of iffy because though my father wasn't in the home, he lived in another state. I remember, I, I believe I was between the age of nine and 11 and I got a call from my dad, which I had been desiring my dad and then to get a call and hear his voice. I was so excited. And he was telling me that he'll be coming to town to visit. And I was full of excitement, but he never showed. And not knowing how that may have affected me, but later in the years, I, I learned that the reason why he didn't show was because he had gotten locked up. You guys. But all I know is the feeling of abandonment and rejection. It's like a feeling that I've dealt with all my life. But then I look at key figures like my grandmother, most important. I can say, in my early days, I definitely felt love. And I now know that that was a critical, that moment in my early days of feeling love, those moments were critical. My dance teachers in middle school and high school, Miss Speck. Catherine Speck, I would never forget, and Miss Lakey. Teachers, other te teachers, trusted friends like Jessica Gibson and Kimberly Roby, my twizzy butter in high school, Patricia Howard. Just to name a couple, Bridget Bradley were trusted friends who helped to mitigate long-term effects on my life. The twins, Lynette and Annette Carr, can't forget them and their mom. It was like people like this in my life that helped me to become who I am today. Having scored a nine, a nine, a nine. And so what brings me to this today is I was listening to a young gentleman by the name of 19 Keys. And where he talked, he, he discussed the, the distraction. The job of the devil is to distract. And these days, how it's going about is through phone, television, social media, friend, and even family that may hold you back. And he, you probably want to go over and check, his, check it out. He, he, today is, what, December the 26th. He posted this video roughly eight, nine days ago. Uh, and it's titled, Master Psychological Techniques upgrading DNA and astral time. In there, he, he speaks on the brain, the left, right side of the brain. He gives a little bit more detail in the understanding of it. But what got me was gamma, in which I had to go look up. Gamma. But he spoke briefly in on the meaning being focus and a higher sense of flow in sync with creative abilities but really really got me was 
key word for the day. Think. Think. T-H-I-N-K. A deliberate action in which many of us don't do for ourselves. We allow others to do for us. And because of this, are in the state in which we are in. A lowered state. But if we begin to think for ourselves and change our mindset for all of the thoughts that's in us, that's actually someone else's thoughts, we'll begin to rise to that higher level of consciousness, which is where we want to be. It is where we want to be. We want to, as 19 Keys says, find our way to consciousness. Know thyself. Finding our tribe and understanding that our family the family that we are in may not even be our tribe. So it's important to survey and seek if there's an alignment there. He also spoke of Hota, peace or contentment. Used as a greeting among many Afrocentrics, according to Dictionary.com, where Africans sometimes called, or Afrocentrics sometimes called Hotuts. It's an ancient Egypt word, a greeting known since around what they believe 1970s. But the key takeaway coming from here, I keep saying key, but 19 keys. There are many. Train your mind. Get an understanding of the system and how the game is played. Stop being a pawn of the game and take your rightful place as Kings and queens. I say that because this awakening in which I'm experiencing, learning, I always knew deep down inside that I was somebody. There was moments where the enemy tried to distract me from knowing that. And so while I watched this video of Mr. 19 Keys, Earn Your Leisure, you find it under Earn Your Leisure's, I believe, the subscription, the channel you will look for on YouTube. But as I, I, I watched, my spirit sent me to go look up black. And when I looked up black, I felt. I don't want to be called black. I don't want to be distinguished between black and white. I don't even know if I want to be called African American. I want to know who I am and where I come from. This has become very important to me. Even so now to go back and look up this word black. I looked up and I saw lax, lax hue and brightness. The darkest colored man to boycott or ban. This is all negative. I don't want to be lacking in brightness. And no, I am not the darkest colored man. My skin is not black. My skin is brown. I don't want to be banned. Other words, dark, dusty, sooty, dirty, dingy, sad, 
depressing, somber, disastrous, sinful, inhuman, devilish, monstrous, horrible, treacherous, traitorous, villainous. I don't want to be recognized as that. I'm not speaking that over my life out of my mouth. Remember the power in the tongue speaking death or life, blessings and curses. The opposite of black we already know is white, but the other word said clean, hopeful, cheerful. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I'm going back to Ace. I'm going back to Ace. Early trauma. I am a person with a high A score who has done remarkably well. Why? It's because of resilience. With the strength in the family's protective uh, factors speak on. Resilience. Concrete supports in time and need. Social connections. Knowledge of youth and development. Parenting, nurturing, and attachment. Even though I lacked in a couple out of those five, I was strong in more than. And balance. Glory to God. Glory to God for the will to live, the will to win. That small seed God said all we had to do was have faith just as small as a mustard seed glory to God glory to God I looked at what the Center for the Disease Control and Prevention and Robert Wood Johnson Foundation where they talk about the three types of ACEs and I haven't suffered all three. One, I actually added a couple in, but once, one according to CDC, is abuse, two, neglect, three, household defunction. And out of one, abuse is physical, emotional, emotional, and sexual. I suffered all. Neglect, physical, emotional. I added medical educational and spiritual I suffered the lack in all three household defunction according to the CDC mental illness mother treated violently incarcerated relatives substance abuse divorce it's 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 vague but but Glory to God. Glory to God. If we can just get an understanding of what it should be. For we are a product of our family. It's in our DNA. And so what I am learning is how to rewrite. Rewrite. Controlling the frequencies. It's said. According to 19 Keys, he got this from Minister, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. If you find yourself jealous of someone, help them. Check yourself. Exist at a high frequency at all times, according to 19 Keys. Money not moving, that's a low frequency. So watch your frequency. Look at successful blueprints. And then he talked about black versus ethnic. This is find your tribe season. 
And that's where I am. I'm putting myself out there. Showing my light is not hidden. And awaiting the attachments so that we can move forward. In the meantime, I'm in mode of self-discovery, finding itself who I am. Who am I? Understanding my name is Dutch German. Who am I? Was I here already or did I come across? Because there's starting to be some questions even about the traveling of the seas. So many lies have been mixed with the truth. It's hard to identify what the truth actually is. And with me having trust issues... I'll be thinking like, how can somebody go back as far as 2,000 years? We ain't, nobody's been here that I could uh, visually see. I know it's in the spirit, but come on now. But then they have their ways. It's just to be able to cut through all the mess. Cut through all the mess. Understanding. Key word for today. Think. Think. And focused. Gamma. For the high sense of flow. I'll go back to track two where T.D. Jakes talked about conflict that we are spirit versus flesh but we know for spirit will convict you for what is right versus what is wrong we can look at Job as the blueprint, our role model, and the way to go. Blessed to be a blessing. Know thyself. Who am I? Thank you for joining me. Today is my 156th post for my 254-day challenge. I'm going to try to knock a couple out uh, maybe twice a day and moving forward so I can kind of catch up to where I'm supposed to be. I noticed earlier when looking black, back like, I only got five. It's been five days since I post. But family, family time matters.
Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Family over everything. We're all we have. We're all we have. Look, Kenya right there is the daughter of my best friend we call BB. To God be the glory. One who helped to mitigate long-term effects from ACE. Adverse childhood experience. Look it up. Look it up. Take the quiz for yourself. Check your score. See where you are. And then I encourage you to work on yourself. And if you're like me, learn to first love you before you can go off to love anyone else. You have to first love yourself. Once you love yourself, be very easy for you to genuinely love someone else without having to endure pain. It's pain. Love is not pain. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is enduring. Love is God. And God is everything. To God be the glory. Today's scripture was 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And again, it read, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always have an all sufficiency, and all things may abound to every good work. Have a good day.